All right, everybody. We have a 2023 Super Aeronautique GS22. Fresh for 2023 with a redesign. A beautiful boat sitting in a mystic white hull and accent. And then an Admiral Blue Metal Flake main stripe, which I wish showed a little bit better inside. Um, as we get closer here, you can get some of the light on it, but really, really pretty blue. Has the actuated flight control tower in Mystic White as well. Option with the vertical clamping Nautique strapless board racks. And a factory bimini top and a pair of 8-8 eight, eight tower speakers from JL Audio. New for 2023. Totally different hull design. So, new boat from top to bottom. The most drastic change to our GS lineup since the boat came out in 2017. It's been a hull change that was done uh, in 2020. Which improved the surf wake a little bit, uh, but this is a drastic change. The boat has gotten taller, so a little higher freeboard. Definitely gives it a bigger presence, especially sitting on the trailer, but also on the water. Um, kind of pulls in a lot of the styling cues you see in the G23, or any of the G-Series boats for that matter. Um, and also pulls in some of those haul characteristics. Uh, just like the previous generation GS, um, they still have some of those lifting characteristics towards the front of the haul to help uh, with the ski wave ski wake rather um, just actually drove this boat for the first time the other day and um, was actually pleasantly surprised at what the ski lake ski wake looked like I was expecting the boat to have um, maybe suffered a little bit in that performance regarding the, the ski wake mainly because the boat added a couple hundred pounds to its dry weight but uh, um, Nautique did modify the way the NCRS tab reacts and you can either run it with the plate up which creates just a cleaner wake or if you want it to flatten out but have a little bit more of that aerated wash to it then you can drop that plate down. We did window tint as well, has new Chromax uh, GS22 logo on the side, which is a little bit smaller, which is kind of the way Nautique has gone with everything lately uh, by doing the body lines on the exterior, kind of let that do the talking versus putting a big Super Air Nautique logo down the sides. Uh, we also have docking lights up front. If we kind of look at this boat from the top down, it doesn't taper much in the bow or in the transom. Just a big rectangle. So you've got a lot more space to work with in the bow and your transom seating is a lot bigger for it as well. Um, before we jump inside, it does sit on a tandem axle Boatmate trailer with chrome wheels. Actually, those are brushed brushed aluminum wheels, the black inlays, so those look sharp. Uh, brown sea deck to match. And then coming around the back, still has surf pipe, NCRS plate, but we also optioned this with the uh, steer assist option for GSs. So a little bit different setup than the G. It's not integrated into the steering. Um, so you can't use the automatic mode that's really nice on the Gs. But the nice, nice part about this thruster versus the G-Series thruster is this. The second you hit that button to utilize it, it moves the boat super quick and responsive. And it moves a lot of water, as you can see. It's a massive prop inside there. So really cool. Let's jump inside and check out the interior. That's where, you know... It's a good chunk of interior improvements that have been made. So popping into the boat, um, you can see we have Mystic White as our main vinyl. We did Admiral Blue seat boxing and piping. And then our, uh, our accent here, our main stripe, is in the Mocha uh, True Weave, which I really like that material. It looks really, really good. Um, as we go into the back here, you can see seats are reminiscent of what we have in our S series boats are kind of angled in so uh, when you're sitting there your feet are kind of 
angled right onto the platform and not hanging off the sides. So they're comfortable. They have a much deeper seat base to them as well. So you can kind of scoot up and not feel like you're going to slide out. A um, couple cup holders back here as well. So stepping up into the boat, you have a much wider walkthrough and they've kind of fully redesigned this area as well. Used to have those thin strips of sea deck walk pads on either side. And what they've done is just widen the, uh, the walkway. So it's not nearly as big of a step to the edge as it used to be. Actually, it's probably about the same. Um, not, that, not that I actually make that step, but uh, a little bit of a wider walkthrough so you're not clicking into the, uh, the fiberglass as easily through the middle. Another big improvement is, in my opinion, is these new latches, slam latches for your rear storage compartments. So you can just kind of click the lever and pop the the uh, sun pad right open. This particular boat uh, has the supplemental ballast option on it. So you can see we have a bag on either side of the engine. Doesn't take up too much space when it's full, which is really nice. Opening up, we upgraded this from the six liter to the ZZ5, which is a 5.3 liter uh, direct injection. So smooth quiet operation tons of torque it's going to handle the weight of this boat really really nicely and just gives the boat a really nice refined feel out of the water walking through into the interior let's start on starboard side we do have instead of the jamming seat you have a flip up seat so you can make that a full bench if you want if we open up here we have our trash can and our cooler similar to what we had before communicating storage into the back on that side this boat also has the uh, enhanced courtesy lighting package so you can see the cup holders are lit up now they've added the phone holder slots in here as well for your passengers and most importantly the optional rear seat which is reversible so again pull in some inspiration from the G We've wanted these for a long time in the GSs, and we finally have a reversible stern seat. So everybody can hang out and watch people surf, wakeboard, do whatever back there without kinking their neck. And when you're done, it slides right back into place. And we have the nice step leading us down into the boat from the walkthrough, which also is where uh, you'll see the pop-up ski pylon as, as always has been. This side has our dual batteries. We also have a battery charger option on this boat. Another big improvement is they moved the battery switch right there. So you have to open up the love seat and dig underneath there, which is always kind of a pain. Nice, quick, easy access to the battery switch. Um, before I go through the rest, let's take a quick peek at the tower and the accessories. Again, uh, strapless board racks. This is the actuated tower, so to fold that, you want to do the locks and you have the power uh, up and down buttons right there. And then a pair of 8.8 eight tower speakers, factory bimini top with surf pockets on the roof. And there's an awareness camera up there too. Um, port side also has the flip up lean back, same as before. Have this nice spot for whoever's sitting in the love seat for their feet to go. Our storage down here is more or less the same. We optioned the upgraded stereo, so you have the 10 inch subwoofer and the bow speakers in here as well to go along with uh, the pre existing standard stereo, which is four JL speakers. So there's six total, a sub, and two tower speakers. We have a heated love seat, we have a heated driver's seat. There is a three outlet heater where the hose pops out there, another one at the driver's feet, and then there's the defroster, or the, the vent over on the dash. And then lastly, an air dam that slides into the walkthrough up into the bow. So all the available climate features on here. Glove box, wireless phone charger right here, got our owner's manuals, and uh, your head unit for your JL stereo in there, although everything can be operated through the screen. Making our way over to the dash. Take a look at this driver's seat. Love the new stitching they did on the boats, by the way. Looks really nice. There's an accent. That's an Admiral Blue. I didn't mention that before. 
and then our uh, Chromax emblems on the seats in chrome. It's a nice looking driver's seat for sure. Steering wheel upgraded with the leather wrap and stitching. So it just has a nice feel to it and then the tandem spoke look on the center. Beefy. Storage cubby, phone holder on the left, doubles as a drain plug holder. And then over on the right side, laid nice and low so you have amazing visibility out of all of our nautiques. Uh, this thing still runs bow low as it always did. But we have our link panoray screen. We can control pretty much everything on the boat. Climate features, it does have maps. Uh, it can control all your ballast. Again, you have the five ballast locations. Uh, really nice for this year is when you add supplemental ballast, the boat gets two additional pumps for a total of five. So those bags in the back fill off of their own pump, so quicker fill times. Power that up all the way. And then our uh, helm command over here on the right side. Has a PTM mirror. And then up in the bow. I mentioned this thing being wider. So if you look at the boat from the side, it's very straight up and down. So they're able to pull the interior further out into the sidewalls of the boat because it used to taper in at a pretty aggressive angle below the rub rail. So just this boat isn't any longer. It's not any wider at its widest point, but it is wider through the running surface of the boat. So it opens up this bow. You get way more seating in here than you did before. There's also quite a bit more storage space under here. You open this side and see we have the boat cover in there now, but just a much easier and more usable storage compartment in the boat. You can fit bigger things in, fenders, things of that nature. And the same thing in the back. Your storage compartments on either side of the engine are wider than they used to be. And this whole thing just feels wider. It's not, but it feels like it. So, I think I pretty much covered. I've probably rambled on long enough. Beautiful boat. Uh, we're pumped to get him out on the water. I think the surf wave is going to be amazing. It's going to ride and feel better, and more comfortable on the water as well, being the deeper boat, a little bit extra weight to it. But it's still going to offer that really great versatile performance and a sportier feel to the way the boat handles than uh, the rest of the boats in our lineup. So um, come check out the GS22. Hit us up for more info at N3 Boatworks. You can reach us at 317-845-9253.